you know, when uh, Jacob Avinu, when we met Paro first time, he blessed Paro not once but twice. It says it's like in separate pa in the parasha in separate places. He blessed Paro twice. Why he had to bless Paro twice? That's one thing. And another question about Yaakov. In certain places they call him Yaakov. In certain places they call him Israel. What's the occasion they call him Israel and why they call him sometimes Yaakov? Two questions. <coughs> when Yaakov, when our forefather Yaakov first met Paro, which is in uh, this coming week's uh, parasha, you find that he, in this coming week's parasha, very gosh, this coming week's Torah reading, so he blesses Paro twice. Why did he bless Yaakov Paro twice? That's the first question. And the second question is, why is he sometimes referred to as Yaakov, and why is he sometimes referred to as Yisrael? And we could extend that to say, why are his children known as the Bnei Yisrael? Very rarely, they're sometimes called Bnei Yaakov, but usually they're called Bnei Yisrael. Well, the blessing twice, Rashi tells us, it was not a, the first time was hello. It wasn't a blessing. It's called a blessing in Hebrew. You say hello to somebody, it's called a bracha, that you were greeting them. The first time Rashi was a greeting. Then when he, when he met him, he came into the palace. When he's about to leave, after Paro, they had a little conversation between them. Paro asked him how old he was, the whole, whole story. But when he was ready to leave, that's when he gave him the blessing. Blessed him that the Nile River should come up towards him. Because the Egyptians live from the Nile River. They don't have any rain. But the Nile River overflows and waters the crops. And it's very important to them, the Nile River. That keeps them alive. So he gave Paro this blessing that when Paro walks down towards the river, the river should go out towards him. And uh, he had to make these things very convenient for the Egyptians. Of course, later on, Paro uh, didn't, <coughs> he, he used the blessing for the river, made himself into a god. But it was not intended for that. It was intended to, to give him the, uh, the honor of showing his people that he's, he's able to take care of them by walking down to the Nile. So the first was a blessing, was a, was a hello to him, was a blessing. The second was a blessing that he gave him. So as Yaakov and Yisrael is concerned, Yaakov is more of the, what he was called when he was born. Yisrael was a name given to him later on, many, many years later, but it's much older than Yisrael that was given to him. And Yaakov is the name of when Yaakov was not as great. When he came very great, Sar, which means, means he was a ruler and a, uh, a Moshel, Sar over himself and over other people recognize him. That's the name of greatness that he was given. And if we will look into it carefully, we'll see when Yaakov is referred to as not the great one, Chutzla Oretz, when he's in Golos, when things are not going well, that's usually when you have the name Yaakov. Yisrael is when things are in the Israel. The Jews are on their land, and their things are going well. Hashem's close to them. That's the name of Yisrael. If we say, uh, say Yaakov, we have a song, Al Tira Ad Yaakov, 22 times. Al Tira, don't be afraid, Yaakov. Don't be, 22 times we say, after Shabbos, after Avdola, the song Al Tira Ad Yaakov, because during the week, which is the time that the Jewish people, so to speak, are more weaker, Shabbos, they're stronger. Shabbos referred to as Israel, and the, during the week called Yaakov. Don't be afraid, Yaakov, even though it's during the week and God is not as close as he's in Shabbos, but he's still there for us. Don't be afraid, Yaakov. He's done 22 times Yaakov. But if we'll be very carefully and study the Pesukim, we'll see that when Yaakov is on greatness, he's above, he's in Israel, he's on above the enemies, we call Israel. When it's the problems they have, and Esav is running after him, and they're afraid of the enemies, and uh, Shem seems to be hiding himself in the cults called Yaakov. That's the difference. <laughs>